and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here please hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell it really helps me out and you never want to miss a video of mine oh my god so <laughs> mind my hair I just threw it up because I have been a little busy Avery is joining us for this video that's little Avery um, so she is joining us for this video and she'll be just be in this background right here so, as you might see in, oh, God, sorry. If you might see in the background, you might see a cage with stuff in it, which is um, not normal because obviously Avery's right there and that used to be Avery's cage. But by the title of the video, you already know, I got a new hamster. So, this wasn't really a big uh, surprise. I've known it for about a week or so, and I've wanted, obviously, since Otis passed away, which, obviously, Otis was very a surprise death. Um, Avery was a little bit older, so it wasn't as surprising, but it was definitely more traumatizing. But anyway... I got a hamster so I'm going to be putting up pictures and videos um, before I do it um the pictures and videos will be at the end my little, little guy so I have named him but I'm not I want to save that for the um, name reveal video because I want to do that um, but yeah I got a new hamster and I'm going to be sharing the story of how and why I got it so first of all I didn't get it from a pet store, I did not, um, so you don't have to just click off this video like, oh, she got a new hamster, and bye, because I know she got it from a pet store, I didn't actually. And if you follow me on Instagram, which is Avery underscore underscore the hamster, you would know that I've been, I, this isn't really a secret, and that's why I'm going to be sharing photos and stuff of it, because it hasn't been a secret, because I've known it for about a week. So, I went on Craigslist, um, probably like, two-ish weeks ago and I saw an ad for um two male hamsters that are both doors and so I like was texting my friend about it and stuff like that and I was just like eh, I want to get it it's up in where I am at the moment but like I'm not going to be able to email it at the right time so I just forgot about it and I was just like, oh, whatever. The next day I went and I was like, I tried to email them and it didn't work. So then a couple of days pass and I go back on Craigslist and I started looking for like hamsters because I was really wanting a hamster. So I started like looking and trying to find a hamster and the ad pops up again. So now it's just this robo. Um... And now I was like, oh, well, I guess, like, there's an t another ad that has the Robo and a black Russian dwarf hamster, and then it's just a Robo. And I was really wanting a Robo that looks like him. I don't like Robos that have, like, the gen generic, like, look of it. I just don't like them. That's just my opinion. Um, but I love the look of him, um, because he's not the generic look, but, um... So I asked my mom, I was like, hey, uh, this hamster is in need of a home. And I was like, I have two cages, everything like that. Um, I have all the toys, I have the space for it, everything like that. So I was like, hey, we should try and email it. So we emailed them. They contacted us really fast. They told us that only the um, door or the robo is available, which I wanted the door, um, the black hamster. Um, and that's why they were like, well, this is the only one available. And, um, so a couple of days passed, we were still emailing back and forth, and it comes to Friday, which we were supposed to get, um, the hamster. And the person had a family emergency, so we got it a week later. So that's today. Um, it's Friday, and we got the little guy. Now, the story of why he was on Craigslist and everything like everything like that the story of wh why was he for adoption so i only paid ten dollars for him which is not that bad and i adopted him um but um the girl was super nice and she was super pretty and yeah i she was really nice um and basically the story was is she adopted it from someone that was she he was going to be snake 
food. <laughs> it's so hard to say. He, yeah. Um, and so she, I guess, adopted him from wherever. I don't really know why, where or why. Um, but, or how, I mean, not why. Um, but I guess she is a, like, rescue, foster care kind of person. And she has, like, a couple more. But they've already gotten, like, pretty much adopted. But she does have two other ones. But blah, blah, blah. And, yeah. So, that's how I got him. I think that's an awesome story. Um, she saved him. And I'm just giving him a home, basically. He was in a 20-gallon long um, in her care. And, basically, I'm just giving her him a permanent home he's not getting adopted I know that for sure uh or readopted he's definitely not getting readopted but now I'm going to tell you guys why are you keeping him in the 40 gallon breeder when you have an Ikea D-Loft so basically the reason why I'm keeping him in there one he is very tiny um he is like this literal this tiny so I know that he deserves, you know, the IKEA D love, and he does. But I'm gonna be, be put. I put him in this cage because one, this is a huge cage for him, and he, uh, he'll be fine in this cage. This is over the minimum. It's a 40 gallon breeder, and with the IKEA D love, as the reason why I'm putting him or I didn't put him in there is because if I do get another hamster, which unfortunately it might be another dwarf, but they're a little bit bigger than him anyway. Um, unfortunately, I don't know why I said unfortunately, I mean like, if it was a dwarf, then yeah, I'm kind of a little bit bad, but it's fine. Um, if I get another uh, hamster and it's a Syrian, I don't want to be putting them in a smaller cage, even though this is over the minimum, it's a perfectly sized cage, that's just what my basically idea is, and I don't want to be, <laughs> I don't know, but I have ordered, um, some chews for him because he is a chewer. I can already tell that he's a chewer. He chews on every single like, thing he finds. Um, we got some more bedding. I'm using the, the I don't even know what this is basically called, all living things, um, because this stuff, okay, so as you can see, it is 99, if you can see that, it's 99 liters, and this was $23. The one that um, is clean and cozy is, $34 and it's only 80 packs so I'm getting way more bedding with a smaller or with less price and this bedding is basically feels exactly the same it's super soft and it's it's the same like it's literally the same just a different brand and yeah um, so I just thought that was something that you guys need to know need to do you know I'm baking more sand at the moment because he, as you can see he doesn't have much sand and I got some more um uh coke or I got more dirt which is basically coconut fiber um and I need to wet in this but I'm baking more sand and I bought some aspen for him so he has different textures um, and yeah, I feel like that's it. I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a tour of his cage. And, um, I don't think he's awake at the moment. It is dark and he probably was awake pretty much all day. So, um, yeah, he didn't get really much sleep. So he's going to probably sleep tonight. Um, maybe wake up later tonight. But I'm going to give you a little cage tour. So over here he has his sand. I'm going to probably open this right here. Sorry oh my goodness it isn't opening dude okay okay so over here he has his sand he has his wheel he has his dirt and this is a little house I did that um he has more rocks he has a little um bridge he has a, a bendy bridge he has this little thing this is a little tunnel if he's in there nope he has um some little thingies right there and then his food i think he might be in there i don't think so and then this is his um house that uh she gave me just so he can have his smell and then there is some of his bedding that he originally had um 
So yeah, sorry, there's like probably black lines. There's gonna be like black lines going through. Yeah, so that's his cage. Um, I'm going to add some more sand right here. And yeah, this is like pretty much all his toys. He's gonna have more chewed toys. Um, I don't actually have any, um, I don't actually have any chew toys in at the moment um, because I don't have any clean. Um, they're all used, so obviously I can't have that for him. So he's um, chews are on the, his way, but yeah, that's his key. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, sorry, that's just my nose ring. My ring is like being so weird, but um, name reveal coming soon. He does have a name at the moment, um, so that's he has a name. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all in my next video, which will hopefully be all about him. And, um, yeah, little Avery. Bye, guys. Love you guys. Er, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye, guys.